Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can take deep mid control on DOS 2 and it's a thing that a lot of pro teams are beginning to start doing a lot more and the reason why it's so good is because it's actually really easy to take because there are only two choke points that the T's can come out from and it's going to give you some pretty free kills and also some fast rotation towards A and B if they decide to rush long or B and at the same time it's really really easy to do so when you're taking mid, how it's going to look is you're going to have one guy who's going towards A one guy who's going towards B and then three guys towards mid. First, the guy towards A, his job is just to try and block long. He can go out and try to throw a molo or flash his out long. And then he can just play side with an orb or something like that, trying to delay anybody who's pushing out short or longer. And the only thing he's gonna do is to play for time. So let's say he sees that they're taking long, he's gonna call that to his team, then gonna use his smoke to try and delay for time. And because his team is taking mid, he don't have to worry about short, and his teammates can also fast rotate towards short if he needs help on side. The guy in B is going to do a similar thing, he's just going to throw a smoke first, so he's going to jump through mid, then he's going to come into this corner, in between this dot and this dot, and jump for a smoke, and then he's just right after that, he's going to come towards B, trying to deny anybody pushing, and play a little bit defensive on B. The smoke he's throwing is going to land here top side left mid, and it's going to help take mid. Then the guy who's throwing the most tilt is in the beginning of the round, going to come out here, then he's going to aim at the end of this pipe thing right here, and then run forward and throw his smoke, and smoke is going to land here deep towards suicide. You can throw it either deep or you can try to throw it closer, depending on what you want. The most important part is just they can't have an orb boosting here. Then after he's throwing those smokes, he's going to go a little bit more back. Aim at top right corner of this door right here. Run forward with the flash and jump for two flashes right after each other. And these flashes are really good because your teammates pushing up mid like this aren't going to get white for them at all. And anybody who's pushed suicide or is pushing out from the smoke right here is going to get full white. Then while that's happening, you're gonna get one or two guys who's pushing mid. The first guy is just gonna bounce a moto up top mid to land right around here in front of this smoke right here. So anybody deciding to push it or play behind these barrels is gonna get completely mollied. The second guy or the same guy can also just throw a flash up towards the left side here, trying to blind anybody who maybe decides to go through the smoke and play the left side here. And then these two guys are just gonna full blow on mid and take the deep mid control. Just be aware, many teams like to either nade the smoke or nade the smoke or just spray through it to try and deny the deep mid control. Then when you have this control, you can do a lot of different things. Let's say they're pushing B or A, you can have a fast rotation over towards say from short or you can fastly go over towards B. Let's say they aren't pushing aside and just playing a little bit more slow. They need a guy to hold down lower because that's one of the things a lot of teams like to do is when they're taking mid, then they're gonna get some guys out lower to try and crunch them who's pushing top mid. So the guy who threw utility or one of the guys pushing up here can try and take lower. And if you like to get a little bit aggressive, you can get a guy who's going all the way up top mid right here. And while there's smoke right here, you can go into this corner right here, try and kill anybody who's coming late out mid again to try and keep the control. And even though this looks like a really, really bad angle, the guy here actually has to clear pretty hard. He has to come all the way out here to see you. So I've seen many times that people actually, even though they're coming from here, doesn't clear this angle right here. Just remember not to make noise because then they're definitely going to clear you. And the last thing you can do, let's say you get a kill or two, then you easily can just come back and fall back towards the mid doors and go out to play the round like you usually do. So guys, that's actually all you need to know how to take mid. It's a fairly good and really safe option to try and get some map control and a kill. And as long as you do it as a team and do it together and get the right utility, it's hardly going to be in your favor to win the fights and take the control. And if you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.